Yo, why, why? <laughs> What's going on, ladies, Lady Kim? And you already know what happened before I tried to do this blog, right? I tried to do the blog, and of course the audio didn't pick up. I always had that problem, but you know. <clears throat> anyway, before I I ramble you to death, I want to do a follow up on the uh, last blog I did. Not, well, yeah, the last blog I did. So hopefully y'all check out Dear Letter, that song, leave your comments. But uh, before I begin, thank you for everyone who's recently subscribed and who's always subscribed to my channel. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Leave your comments, uh, questions. You know, I have some interviews coming up that I will be posting. But anyway, uh, so just to do a little follow-up thing about the little blog. I love your comments about that. I even got people who uh, hit me up on Twitter. Backward slash L A D Y C A M, hit me on Twitter and let me know, you know, their um, their views on bootlegging, bootleggers. So that's that was cool. People people uh, understood where I was coming from and didn't really get too offensive. So anyway, um, just to do the follow up, <laughs> there's a guy by the name of Lee. I, I forgot if that was his first name or last name, but he he was the uh, I think the casting director or the director for Precious, the movie. Just in case you didn't see my my um, the box blog, please look at that one before you look at this one. And so you really understand what I was talking about. <clears throat> so I'm going to have to repeat myself again. Which, I, you know what, because I babble too much. But anyway, <laughs> but anyway, um, <clears throat> so let me turn this down. So the guy, Mr. Lee, he was on, he was on the, the Tom Jonah Morning Show. And they were interviewing him, of course, about Precious, <clears throat> the movie. And they asked him, they were like, so, you know, Lee, why did you only, or why did you decide to have only 18 screens for the movie? You got it. Yeah. Why? Guess. The bootleggers. And he was like, the reason why is because, you know, of all the bootleggers. And I was like, wow, so you mean to tell me this is affecting already? Because it already affected the music. But of course, if it's good music, good quality music, people are going to go out and buy it anyway. You know, but... <sighs> yeah, when he said the reason why was because of the bootlegger. They didn't want, you know, to have so many screens, like over 100 screens, and a lot of people are just going to bootleg it and sell it. So that was smart. So that was very smart. So, I can't wait till the 20th, which is this weekend. Uh, Precious is going to come down to Baton Rouge, and I will see it, as well as it's another movie. Um, the one with Sandra Bullock. I forgot. I think it's big something. But today I'm going to see the 2012, 2012 movie, The End of the World. I can't wait to see that. If you don't know, yes, I'm a big movie person because another one of my careers, I do video production. And since my system crashed last time, I had to reorder the video program. So I have a lot of more, lot more video productions and things going on of that nature. But I just wanted to let me fix my weave again. <laughs> so I just wanted to uh, drop that on you. You know what I'm saying? So leave your comments, your thoughts uh, about bootleggers. If you bootleg, the reason why. And I don't really think they know what they're doing to the people behind the scenes as far as, you know, people who actually go to school for this type of stuff. But anyway, don't want to babble you to death. Hit me up on AIM, Lady Cam, MC, L-A-D-Y, M-C. Durr. <laughs> but I got another, uh, another topic I want to talk to you about. And it's about, um, being called the B-word for all my ladies. So, yeah. That'll be until next time, America. Give a kiss.